welcome to the next uh, Lukosa retro game review video. So as you've seen, this is the Equalizer, which was released by the Powerhouse in 1987, I think. It was either 87 or 88. And as the title would have you believe, this is uh, a game based on the uh, television program starring Edward Woodward as uh, the uh, <coughs> I think, well yeah he's a sort of vigilante isn't he unleashing vengeance on the uh, uh, criminal scum or as uh, other people would say Americans in the uh, rancid festering shithole slum area or as Americans would call it New York and it all sounds like it could be quite interesting <clears throat> well uh, let's see well here we are the equalizer no sign of uh, New York slums no sign of Robert McCall or any other uh, character that Edward Woodward has played. No, what we have is some fucking nauseating bullshit fucking cutesy platform game come shooter that is nothing but a fucking blatant ripoff of that stinking load of shit coin up game Wonder Boy. Now there is I have absolutely no doubt that uh, this game was given the title The Equalizer um, in order to help its sales. Because there would have been people who saw the, the, the game name, saw the equaliser and thought, oh yeah, okay, I'll definitely have some of that because they're fans of the uh, television program. So it may have helped uh, with sales if the game had not been reviewed anywhere. But that is a fucking ridiculous idea because it would mean quite rightly that anyone who bought this on the strength of you know the title the equalizer would have been unbelievably fucked off with what they saw and with good reason Uh, I remember the uh, Zap64 uh, reviews and they frequently uh, said oh, I was a bit disappointed with the game uh, and that the, the title is a little misleading. It's not a little misleading, it's fucking bang out of order. And I don't believe that it was, you know, any accident or any coincidence. I believe that uh, the cunt who wrote this game and created it, I don't know his name, it will come up when we're back on the title page. But he did it on purpose. It was not accidental at all. So let's, uh... Alright, so old Gavin Rayburn here. Yeah, he knew exactly what he was doing. Uh, but, I mean, well, like I say, it's a fucking stupid idea because then people who bought the game waiting to see, uh, you know, the equaliser on their uh, computer screens and then getting this would have been so fucked off and there was no way that they were going to buy another game that this cunt had written nor were they ever going to buy another game published by this publisher so it was a fucking stupid idea as well as being a fucking cuntish idea 
I've, I've never seen such a blatant attempt to uh, basically con uh, would-be uh, buyers through the uh, naming of, uh, of a title as I have with this. And it, it would be like, you know, naming a game Star Wars or something, and then it being, I don't know, well, Wonder Boy. Okay, it looks like I've reached the end of the level, so I'm, I had to grab that fucking heart thing, which of course I've now let go off the screen, so that means I can't get anywhere. So, uh, well, let's get on with the review then, eh? Graphics are fucking cutesy, nauseating shit. Uh, audio, there are no sound effects. Uh, the music is cutesy, nauseating shit. And the gameplay is cutesy, nauseating shit. Which is also combined with a title that I am utterly convinced is uh, there to deliberately mislead uh, any uh, people who were going to buy it. This has absolutely no redeeming qualities at all. It is nothing short of an absolute con. And yeah, old what's his name, Gary Rayburn, is just an absolute fucking cunt. So what do I score it? Um, I score it uh, minus 1.9 times 10 to the 19th power, which is the uh, half-life in years of bismuth. And I would like to see old Gary Rayburn uh, tied to, uh, to a chair and then stuck in a room surrounded by a ton of well, something radioactive, but not bismuth. That's not going to be horrific enough. So, I'll settle for him, you know, being surrounded by uh, either actinium or plutonium. And then hope that his death is as agonisingly painful as it deserves to be. What a cunt. Um, if there is anybody who bought this game and were happy with what they got, then, well, I just wonder about your fucking frame of mind. So that is the equaliser, an insulting sack of shit that is basically just, uh, it's, it's just a con, and it's fucking out of order, and it is possibly the most contemptible game I've ever encountered as a result. Uh, I didn't have this game back in the day because although I didn't mind the television program, I wasn't a big fan, so I was never going to go, you know, rush out and buy a, a game based on it. For those people who were, um, well, I can only imagine what the backlash was like. So there we go, uh, the equaliser, a fucking load of bollocks. Uh, that brings this review to an end and we will see you at the next one.